South Florida Today. Hi, everyone. I'm Joel Conable. Welcome to the Departure Lounge, where every week we tell you about the best travel ideas and deals. You know what? We're taking you on one of the coolest ships I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the newest cruise liner sailing out of Fort Lauderdale. It's called the Solstice. It's owned by Celebrity Cruise Lines. This is a ship, uh, well, basically, this is all I can say about this ship. I've never seen a cruise ship like this before. When you walk into the main lobby, you will feel like you're staying at a five-star hotel. It is a hotel in the sense that we have uh, two th over 2,800 guests that will be joining us, and they all have the accommodations, they have the restaurants, the normal things one would expect in a hotel. But a hotel doesn't have propellers. We have never seen a cruise ship like this before. I'm Stuart here on the Cruise Guy, and I approve your vacation. And neither has the Cruise Guy. After sailing on more than 100 cruise liners, Stuart Chiron says this ship is one of a kind. It's an original work of art. It is, a, it is an absolute masterpiece, one of a kind, first ship in probably eight years that has been built from the ground up where it's not a duplicate copy of a previous, uh, previously existing ship. From the fountains outside by the pool to the real-life tree growing in the atrium, to the statue in the lobby, to the Art Deco elevators that move up and down from decks. Cheers. The celebrity solstice will now call Fort Lauderdale its fall and winter home. Uh, as you can see from around and with the elegant surroundings, it can only be described as five star plus. But five star sometimes gives people the impression that it's, it could be a little stiff or, or stuffy. I can assure you that throughout this vessel we have something for everybody and it really is, it's fun, it's elegant and unique. One of the first things you'll notice when you board is that the cabins on the Solstice don't look or feel like cabins on a ship. They look like luxurious and spacious rooms in a luxury hotel. Most have balconies, and every room has wireless internet access, so you can surf the net from bed. Even the bathrooms are elegant with big sinks, and many rooms even have bathtubs. It's very tasteful. It's a very unpretentious cruise ship that isn't stodgy that maybe a lot of people did not like about other cruise lines. If you want to go overboard, well, not literally, you book this cabin, one of the suites where there are several rooms, several hot tubs, several balconies, and several televisions, even one for when you take a bath. This is the most unique thing about the Celebrity Solstice. They actually have a park out at sea. This is called the Lawn Club, and yes, it's actually real grass beneath my feet. It's a place where you can, uh, well, take off your shoes and uh, practice your golf putt, play a little bocce ball, maybe a little croquet, have a picnic here while you're sailing, and then at night they have glass blowing shows behind you. It's a, a different dimension. It's an opportunity to enjoy a lawn at sea, and it's very active as well. There's plenty of uh, games that we play on it, but it's also beautiful. If you go up there, you'll see the ocean, you'll see grass on a ship. No one really knows how grass will flourish in the salty air, but it looks nice for now. When you're done hanging out in the Cruise Lines version of Central Park, you can shop on the Cruise Lines version of Madison Avenue, where some of the most elegant shopping at sea welcomes your money. 85% of all the, back of the cabins on board this ship have private verandas. There's only one cruise ship in the whole world that has, uh, is all verandas. So it's going to be the biggest ship. It's going to have mostly verandas. 85, like I said, 85% of it, and it's just going to really set the bar for other cruise lines, and it's just going to be really unique. So if you want something that's different, you've been there, you've done that, you've got the t-shirt, Celebrity Solstice and its four upcoming sister ships will really, really impress you. All right, so we said the cruise guy is here. So how can we get on the Solstice? How much would that cost? Because it looks very expensive. It's not. It's, it's, it's a premium ship. It's going to have a premium price, but $8.99 is the cruise only inside starting price. Mm -hmm. But if you can go in December, on December 14th, they actually had $8.99 for a balcony. Wow. But it is getting a great price. It's an amazing ship. It's got a great itinerary. Okay, so there's another ship that's also brand new. It's from Carnival. Which one is that? That's the fifth new ship to hit Fort Lauderdale. It's Carnival Splendor, which is actually the largest Carnival ship. It's 113,000 tons, and if you love the spa, you're going to love their spa, 13,000 square feet. That sounds like one of the biggest spas on it's, the ship. It's tremendous. Yeah, and now, uh, can, how much would it cost to get on that ship, and, and where does that sail from? Well, it sails from Fort Lauderdale. It goes to San Juan, St. John, St. Thomas, and La Romagna. Mm -hmm. Joel, 
$499 per person. And that also includes if you wanted to go away for Christmas at $499, they even got New Year's from $949. So you could book that right now. Right for now. This Christmas, this New Year's, no advanced purchase Correct. required. And heading into January, too, $499. Brand new ship. Now, this ship will be eventually repositioning, uh, leaving here to go to its, its final home, which is going to be in Los Angeles. Right, okay. So you want to see it, you better get on it quick. All right, so if you want to book some of these cruise deals, you can call the cruise guy. Here's his personal phone number, okay? <laughs> First of all, he has a website, cruiseguy.com, but you can call him at 1 800 700 3405. He'll help you out with all your cruise planning. By the way, we've put a whole bunch of other deals, including a great Disney deal, on our website. It's at NBC6.net forward slash departure lounge. You can go there to see all the travel deals and travel video. Thank you, Stuart. You bet. Trina, Happy Thanksgiving. Here. Thank you.